All right, let's continue with this crazy game with the with the Zulus. We're still alive with only four cities. Um, the one by still our main <laughs> city now that we lost uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, but I'm very close to reach uh, Metallurgy, so we're supposed to get some cannons very soon. That will probably give me some advantage in the in the military uh, aspect at least, right? Because right now it looks like we're running behind in everything. Um, so I'm gonna start working and get my combustion as soon as possible because it looks like it's gonna be the only way to to be successful in this game. All right, we already have some riflemen. Uh, we got the gunpowder a couple of turns ago. Um, uh, we still have some catapults, so we should be able to attack finally that German city in there. Um, see if we can get something going. Um, another very interesting, uh, actually a very, very, very good uh, bonus of the Sulu is that the riflemen are going to start costing half. Um, that really is gonna make a big difference, and so I can start developing some very strong uh, def the defense. The defense <coughs> um, that will allow me to to focus the rest in the production and just making tanks or artillery or whatever I need at this point, right? So I'm still trying to stop the German. Uh, looks like the guy doesn't want to give up, and. Uh, and I, I, at least I got my riflemen and my and my catapults moving forward. So that also is gonna be very important. I'm gonna to probably need to start working some roads to connect the city. So otherwise, the riflemen are gonna get stuck in the middle. Um, so that's another thing that I need to do. Uh, probably if we're lucky enough. We could, should be able to get Leonardo going. Uh, and with that, I should be able to probably upgrade the, <coughs> um, my units if I am the first in, in build Leonardo, right? It looks like these guys, the Germans, still trying to do something against my my new capital. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, at least with the riflemen, I can feel a little more comfortable, at least in that part of the game, right? And, and I'm more comfortable in a, in a different standpoint, but uh, right now it's about time to start moving forward and, and taking care of at least one of the computers because otherwise it's gonna get uh, really, really difficult to to finish this. Uh, but that's the good thing, I got a bunch of riflemen going on, so we should be able to survive for a while, <laughs> at least for now. So let's see, because. Um, I can probably build a very this defense, but uh, what's going to happen there in one of the other... You see now we have the new ability, which is half cost of the rifleman, which allow me to, to start developing the defense in all the cities. And with that, I should be able to uh, start doing more research or some. And this, in this case, we're going straight for combustion and see probably we can get a first and I start getting some tanks. Um, it looks like we're running very well in technology, and that's because of Lubamba. Look at that. Look at the science that I'm producing right now, 128, which is huge. And that's basically because of the, the location of the city, um, all the dye, uh, <coughs> the harbor that allow me to make the city grow faster so I can um, work more tiles at the same time. So yeah, actually we 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 doing a very good job with that one. Uh, it's a city that is allowing me to stay alive in this game. Um, so far, it looks like we got a very decent production of uh, production of uh, science. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't want any any kind of galleys or galleons uh, around my. My coast is not a good idea. I can get very in, in really deep trouble if I if I allow this guy to <coughs> to get units from behind, right? But right now with the again the rifleman bonuses allow me to uh, 
start developing a, a very decent defense in, in all my cities. So right now we're going to go back to Leonardo. I was trying to save some turns because uh, I would like to get Leonardo before... Uh, uh, get combustion before Leonardo. So I can upgrade my units too. I don't think I got many knights going on. Probably one knight. Yeah, I think I got one army on knights because the other one died a couple of turns ago. Uh, see, we still have our city in the over the sea which is developing very well and now that we're building the harbor we should be in good shape to uh, to start to keep producing science and make the city grow grow much faster right so let's see if we can yeah we we'll probably need to go to the hill again and attack from the hill because otherwise it's gonna be really complicated to destroy the defense in there uh, I'm gonna wait one more turn. Always go for the catapult, the artillery first, or cannons, because those uh, units are designed for to attack cities, basically, right? <coughs> but yeah, the German has a bunch of units. They have a, a lot of knights, so that could be that could be quite a challenge. But uh, let's see, we're gonna probably start taking down a couple of. Uh, wow. Yeah, we, at least we can get rid of the big men. Should be able to attack the um, those knights with my with my knights, of course. Um, it's always important to don't forget the the idea of the offensive units like warriors, legions, uh, horsemen, knight, tanks are very very effective, but. Uh, you gotta be careful because you can really lose uh, if they are attacking you first those units you're gonna be in really deep trouble and right now yeah for example I just make a little mistake because I use my I move my riflemen a little bit too far um, and right now I got my my knights and my catapult without uh, any kind of defense so that it's important to always keep an eye on that unfortunately I'm, I, I believe I'm still very rusty <laughs> it's been Way too long, probably like a seven months. I haven't played this game, and this is the first one. Um, but it's still, it's always, it's always interesting to uh, to have a challenging game. Uh, in this case, yeah, it's not pleasant to lose the catapults because <laughs> they were very important. But let's see if we can get those knights. Keep my oh, that's not gonna happen. All right. Now we need to probably start developing a new set of uh, offensive units. Uh, we just finished the East India Company in one of our cities, so we have one more trade per uh, <coughs> square over the sea, right? So we'll see. Probably we need to move more defensive units in here and. And combustion is just uh, around the corner, so I should be able to survive for a couple more turns. Let's see. Uh, combustion is only four turns left, so we should get combustion, and then we can go back to Leonardo, and we can upgrade the rest of our units, right? Uh, an engine is also growing fast, so always it's important to keep an eye on those. Uh, when you see that your cities are reaching a level more than eight, is about time to construct the car house okay otherwise you're really losing production or or science of gold or <coughs> or food production okay so it's very important to always keep an eye on that uh well, look the magellan is going down mm. oh maybe not oh yes it was okay the bomb is still the top city of the War, if we put it away, okay. So let's see if we can keep our riflemen together. I'm um, holding the yeah, I'm gonna probably use my riflemen in there and, and there so I can do create a block so they can just go ahead and go for my my new capital, right? Uh, so it's important to to use the that bottleneck uh, strategy, right? With that, we allow you to to block your enemy, right? Especially ground units. It's very, very important. So in this case, for example, you see the the knights were back because uh, they know that they can't really deal with the riflemen yet. Okay, so you see the 
how fast this city is growing at plus 17 in food so believe me in a couple more turns that city is going to be producing a lot of science uh, i don't know if, as much as la bamba but uh, a lot and uh well it looks like the british is going for uh, some kind of culture victory because i can see that they keep developing wonders um uh, oh beautiful and it's always very important to get a uh, combustion first no matter what right so we can let's go for railroad so we can get the bonus of plus gold per city right so we have our first tank and you know what that means that means that the whole game have a different meaning now we can really turn things around uh, now that we have a very uh, powerful yeah I don't think they're gonna be able to much more tanks against I mean big men against tanks right so this is, is really important to see right now we were able to hold with only three or four cities in Deity which is not easy but uh, uh, the planning on our first expansion was the key of this game so far I'm not sure yet what's gonna be the 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 final result but uh unless you you can feel uh the odds are pretty good when you reach combustion before everybody right and we're running second in technology which is very good considering that the other one is the chinese and the chinese pretty much uh, it's not under control but it's very close right uh so right now we finished with leonardo and so our units are becoming are being upgraded um, so that will allow me to start producing tanks um, massive tanks that's very important workshop probably is very important here so I can get some more production from the hills and then we can go and start getting some tanks right so here come the second tank uh, we can probably rush the third, third one if it's oh, we got one more right there perfect so we have our first army of tanks so against that I don't think that pigment can do much more not for now right so and now the only thing i need to do is i'm moving forward and attacking as much as, as i can and uh, no mercy with anybody because right now remember we haven't uh, take care of any civilization the chinese is still alive i have no idea how powerful it is uh, as you guys see he's number one in technology so i'm pretty sure he has cities all over the sea right so right now the only thing that you need to do as soon as we got the the power of the combustion is just get ready to battle because that's that's the next step all right um and once again oh we got more more production per city thank you to the railroad bonus um and everything you see the, the whole game changes at the moment that my main city the yeah yeah why not we can get some atomic theory for free why not that chinese is researching all that for me that's good and he always gonna be offering me stuff because i he knows that right now I'm more powerful right so that's the advantage that you have when you got one of your enemies under control the, you can abuse him then a little bit all right it's not the idea but that's the idea of the game right you that that's actually what happened in real in the real world unfortunately right big uh, countries take care of the small one and the small one just 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 survive and and stay alive because of the the big one so anyway uh we're gonna move forward soon again as soon as we got tanks come combustion that's a different total different ball game you need to start moving forward and taking care of everybody because uh, you have no idea in any second you're probably gonna receive a message saying that the for example the british is gonna start building the united nations uh, or, or the uh, war bank uh, you don't want to get to that point right so let's take advantage that we have a very decent production of, of science 268 per turn which is pretty good um try to take the advantage of that before the other civilization which uh, any other kind of uh, victory right so let's continue the next video guys so far so good